that people tend to present with are things like muscle weakness, oftentimes in an arm or in a leg. Uh, another thing that's a common presentation is problem with speech or swallowing, and there's definitely a lot of things that can create that presentation. So a big thing that we look for on neurologic exam, uh, or, or for diagnosis, is their neurologic exam. There's some things that are characteristic in ALS that you wouldn't necessarily see in other conditions. So generally, someone will present with one of these problems. You'll do a neurologic examination, and oftentimes you'll be suspicious of ALS. Uh, the next steps in diagnosis, for instance, would generally involve things like an EMG and nerve conduction studies. And that's basically a test performed uh, at a hospital generally, where we test test nerve function and test muscle function and kind of see how the, the muscles and nerves are talking to each other, if you will. Other things that I would generally do while evaluating someone for possible ALS is going to be blood work and neuroimaging. And so you put all of that information together to help drive towards a diagnosis of ALS if, if it's appropriate.